Hi, this is Dr. Weideman, and I'm going to give you a short introduction to our MGF 1106 online class, um, the Angel Course materials, and also um, my math lab. Um, so, Angel Course materials, um, and the handout you see on the screen right now is available. I'm going to go over to our course um, at the top of the course materials page, introductory materials, and here's the introduction. Welcome to the online course, and here's the video that you're watching. Here's the handout that we're going over. So I'm going to go back over to the handout, um, and I'm going to work within the course. Um, you can refer to the handout as I walk through the course over here. Um, so when you first go into our course from the Angel um, login page, it'll go to what I call the home page. And here you can see any announcements for our course. You can see your mail, the calendar, if there's any calendar items coming up this week. There's a link to the syllabus. Um, there's some helpful links over here. Um, library services if you want to do a search, smart thinking student tutoring, a lot of helpful things right there on the home page for you. Um, if you walk across here on the course calendar, I've put all the due dates. Um, so we have class beginning here. Um, we have a weekly chat scheduled for uh, Thursday evenings. We'll do those from 6.30 to 7.30, but all the due dates that are listed in the syllabus will be shown on the course calendar. And then the course materials page um, this is the page that you use quite a bit. The introductory materials I just referred to. Um, also in this folder, there's going to be um, my Math Lab registration handout, guide, and a video. Um, here's a link to my um, instructor page, which has got my office hours, um, the location. Um, and you have to watch out on Firefox here. It blocks some things. And you'll see that little um, icon at the top corner there. And when you unlock that, it'll let the page show up. So it shows my home page, here's my office hours, a little bit about me, the courses I'm teaching, and so forth. Um, you can click here to see your grades, so a quick link to your grades. Um, the weekly chat sessions that I mentioned will be available in here. Um, let me go in as a student so you can see um, what you'll see as a student when you go into that folder. Um, each week when we have a chat session, um, I'll post up here, um, has the wrong date on it, um, but I'll post a link to the actual chat and then what we're going to cover in the materials. And this should say January 16th, I'll correct that. Um, but this will be a link to the website that we use, called, which is called WizIQ. And then there'll also be a handout of the materials with the problems that we're going to go over, not solved. So you'll be able to work on those ahead of time. Um, there's a required orientation for the course right here. And you need to go through all the steps of that um, to get access to the rest of the course materials. Um, so there's seven steps in here. Um, and you need to go through all those steps in order to get access to the course materials. The last thing being a syllabus quiz, and a, which includes the course contract um, for you. Um, units of study. The course is set up. Um, units of study ba basically link to the chapters in the book. Um, so you'll start with chapter one. And each folder is set up the same way. They'll have the sections that we're going to cover. Um, you've got homework here in my math lab. There's section notes and PowerPoint handouts that you might find helpful. Um, there's some discussions in various chapters. So this first week, of first two weeks, you have to do a class introduction. And there's also a short student information survey that I ask you to complete um, that gives me information about you. Um, there's a test for each chapter. And then additional materials. There's always an additional materials folder, which will have interesting things that um, you might find helpful when you're studying that particular unit. Um, communication tab is obviously where you go to send emails, grades and reports. I suggest rather than using that tab that you use um, the tab right here for view my grades. I will bring your grades over from um, my math lab every time we have a due date. So the first due date, if we go look at the calendar, is Janu January 27th. So on January 28th, I'll go to my math lab and bring over your My Math Lab homework and test scores and bring those into the Angel Gradebook so you'll have a nice snapshot of your current grade in the course. Um, let's go over to the My Math Lab course. Um, and I want to just take a minute to walk you through this. Um, here's kind of what you'll see when you first go in. Um, you can see the chapter contents, and we cover chapter one, for instance. So if you wanted to look at chapter one, if you click on here, it will show you the video that goes with that section, the ebook. So if you wanted to actually read the textbook, um, you have an actual ebook in here. And the ebook is really nice because you can um, 
annotate it, you can highlight things. Um, it's your book to work with however you would like. And it's the same thing as the printed textbook. Um, it's set up exactly the same. Um, you can flip through to problems, whatever. Um, there's some embedded videos in here which students sometimes find helpful. Um, so you might want to take a look at that ebook and it opens it in a new window. Um, and then let's go back over and click here to close that back up. So here's your homework in my math lab. And make sure you disable your pop-up blocker. Um, you have a little video about how to answer and enter answers into my math lab and then there's a quick little homework assignment that's required to unlock the first chapter's materials. Um, you get unlimited attempts on the actual homework. You get three attempts for each problem before my math lab will um, create a new problem for you. Um, you have to get 60% on the associated homeworks in order for the quiz to unlock. So for instance, chapter one um, test quiz, you should have a 60, you have to have 60% on each of those homeworks before you start that assignment. Um, and it won't let you get in there until that happens. Um, you can see your grades in here. I suggest looking up the grades in Angel rather than in My Math Lab um, because we keep it up to date there. Um, okay, let me go back over to your handout. I think we've covered the materials here and here and here. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to mention is that there is a proctored midterm and final exam for this course. Um, it's given at the four campuses. Um, here's a link to the Proctor testing website, um, and if you're not in the area, you definitely have to go there to find identify a proctor in your area. Um, you need to keep up with your weekly assignments, um, and I've actually attached the schedule, weekly schedule right here to this email. It's in the syllabus also. Um, due dates, Monday night at 11, except for the week one materials, which are extended. Normally things are due a week after we finish with that topic. Um, so week one, actually week one and week two are due on January 27th to give you a little bit of time to get familiar with the course and how it works. But they're always going to be Monday night at 11 and every Saturday I will um, send a reminder to tell you that um, due dates are coming up. Uh, we'll have a weekly chat, like I said, on Thursday night and there's also a, a virtual office hour on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. I'll post a link for that if you want have any questions you'd like to come and ask. Um, but here's the weekly schedule, so you want to make sure but you print this out and keep track of things. Make sure you're getting your assignments done on time. So I hope this helps you get started in the course. I look forward to working with you.